Welcome back to Science Sundays. This week's experiment is inspired by an exhibit at the San Francisco Exploratorium. Unfortunately, that museum has to be temporarily closed due to the pandemic. But our friend Christine Urquidez is here to bring their science of colored shadows right to your home. So here's my pencil. I'm going to hold it up in the light. And behind the pencil, I see three shadows. And if I move the pencil closer, the shadows get closer together. And if I move it farther back, they get farther away. But I notice that the three shadows I see um, are actually different colors. So I see a yellow shadow, a light bluish, like a teal color shadow, and a pink or a magenta colored shadow. So it's really interesting because my experience being outside is some kind of dark colored shadow but when my light source is not a white light I'm actually able to make colored shadows and the colors are different than the lights that are being projected onto my screen and if I move it in closer I notice that I even get a green color in there um, and a blue and it's about all I can see when I kind of get them really close together so I see about five different colors in the shadow of this pencil. So this is a phenomenon known as colored shadows. So red and blue and green are kind of our base colors, but when you combine two or more of them, you end up with new colors. So for example, if I combine red and green, I get a yellow shadow. So if it's in the area where those two overlap, and I put something up in the middle that blocks the blue, you're gonna see the yellow. Or if the green and blue shadow um, light sources are pointed and I block the red, I get to see that cyan color. And then if the blue and red are at, you know, kind of shown and the green is blocked, we get magenta. Now head over to our website, turn to 23.com forward slash science Sundays, where you can show this full episode to your students for free. Kristen teaches you how to set up this experiment at home, and she goes into the science behind those additive colors, including how our eyes perceive light and color and translate that information to the brain. We'll see you next week.